In this video, I answer the question, can you use Cat5e copper cabling to run 10 gigabits ethernet? And if so, what's the maximum length that you can run it over? The reason you might want to know the answer to this question is because you live in a house or perhaps you have a business that has Cat5e cabling in the walls and you want to see if you can get away with it without having to go to the considerable expense of re-cabling to give yourself 10 gigabits ethernet. The standards organizations recommend CAT6A if you want to run it for 100 meters, and if you're going to use CAT6 cabling, they say you'll get up to 55 meters, uh, and they have no recommendation at all for using CAT5E cabling. So I went to test this theory out, and the way I did it was I had a network switch and a machine, both using SFP Plus Ethernet adapters, so I bought 30 meter SFP plus copper modules. Now 30 meter means using 6A cabling, you're expected to be able to get 30 meters, but using 5E, you should get way, way less. So I ran the test. I went out and purchased several lengths of 10 meters of Cat 5E, some joiners, plus some shorter lengths of 5E to work out what the absolute maximum distance I could get. So I run the tests and lo and behold, using 30 meter SFP plus modules, I got 25 meters. After 25 meters, I was getting error disables on the network switch, but at 25 meters, I had no issues around speed tests, multiple copies, no problems at all. So if I can get 25 meters out of 30 meter SFP plus modules, uh, if you have a longer run than that, then you should consider using the 80 meter SFP plus modules, which should give you a considerably longer distance. Or alternately, if you've got integrated copper interfaces, you should be able to get a lot longer again. Well, a bit longer again anyway. Okay, to answer the question, can you use Cat5e cabling to run 10 gigabits ethernet? The short answer is yes. And in all likelihood, you're able to do it for quite a long distance. And for all practical terms, inside your house, it'll probably work without any troubles at all. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it or it was useful to you, please give it a like. If you've got questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching.